Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a huge NYX haul and all the goodies are in here. As you can see, there's a lot to go through. So without further ado, just let's get into the big haul. So I'm going to start off with the goodies that I got from Cherry Culture. They basically had a 40% off recently and I kind of took advantage, kind of went crazy, but I thought why not just grab a lot of things with the 40%, I thought it would be a really good deal. And when I kind of added everything up, including shipping and all that, for 18 products, it only costed me £2.50 each for each product, so I thought that was really good, and a really good bargain, so without further ado, I'm just going to show you what we got in here, and then I'm going to show you guys what I got from the UK website as well. So, first things first, so the first things first, I'm going to start off with blushes, and I got three blushes, and they're all kind of pinky peach shades, and the first one I'm going to talk about is the Summer Peach, and this is a lovely colour, it's kind of like an iridescent pink, and it's got some gold flecks in there which I think is gorgeous and I think it would look lovely for summer. So that's that one. The next one is called Rose Garden. Now this is the one I was actually really excited to see because apparently it's like a very similar like Mars orgasm kind of thing. And it's got those kind of gold flecks and specks in there. And it's got that lovely peachy pink blush that I'm loving at the moment. So this is, has been far my favourite blusher at the moment next one and the last blush that I got and this one is called Pinched. Now I heard a lot of reviews of this, about this so that's why I actually got it and it's like a lovely matte shimmer shade and it's like a peachy pink as well. Kind of gone into this kind of peachy gold, rose gold kind of colour thick scheme at the moment and I just love the colour and the texture of them as well. They're very nice, not chalky or anything and that's what I like about them and for the price they're really affordable and amazing quality. So I definitely recommend the NYX blushes if you've never tried them before because they're amazing. Now on to the eyeshadows. I picked up six of them. Now the first one I'm going to talk about is the one called Burly There. Now this one they've actually said that it's similar to one of the MAC shadows as well. And it's a lovely yellow kind of tone. It's kind of like a yellow shimmer iridescent and I think it's good for like any highlight or maybe if you want to do the um, tear duct or anything like that so that's a really gorgeous colour. The next one is Ice Mocha and this is a very lovely shade so it's like a very like taupey kind of colour and I think this will go lovely for maybe in the inner corner or even just on its own I think this is just a lovely brown shade. The next one is Flamingo, which I'm not, I was actually very excited for this one. And it's one of my favourite kind of rose gold taupey kind of shades. And it's similar to one of the colours in the Naked 3 palette as well. And this is Flamingo. It's got a lovely iridescent pink, a purple kind of colour to it. The next one is called Vanilla Shimmer. Now this is one of my favourites. I'm loving I actually love using this as a highlighter. And I've actually got it on as a highlighter at the moment. Um, it's like a very lovely iridescent pinky peach. So I, even though I actually use it as a highlight, I can obviously it's kind of can be used for the brow bone or even like the tear duct or even just as a base color. I think it's really a lovely shimmer shade. Next shade is the color Rust, which is a very similar dupe to the Mac Cranberry. Now I have Mac Cranberry as well, and I think this is the better dupe. It's the exact same silky texture as well and definitely recommend this to anyone who's a um, cranberry fan or the MAC cranberry eyeshadow who wants a cheaper version and if I'm not mistaken you do get more product as a 2.4 grams so you do get more product than the MAC ones as well so keep that in mind. Now on to my favourite part of the haul, lipstick! <laughs> yeah I kind of went a tiny bit crazy. But you know me, I love my lipsticks. So, um, so the fav my favourite lipsticks out of them all are the lip butters. I was dying to try these, the butter lipstick ones. And I remember when I was going to get, when I was going to order the first time in the afternoon, I, could, I actually had about seven of these added in my cart. By the time I ordered, which was about midnight that same day, I only could get a hold of three of them. So I'm just happy that I got three, better than nothing, but the three colours that I actually love. So I'm looking forward to getting my hands on the other colours as well. So I'm starting off with these ones. The first one is Gumdrop, which is a gorgeous pink colour. 
and it's basically like a bit of bobby pink, um, a paley colour that you can wear an everyday look or if you might want to have that really lovely bobby pink with a smoky eye or anything like that. The next one is Hot to Mouth. Now this is the orange one. Now you would have seen this one in my previous makeup tutorial that was a collaboration with Michelle from Ready Set Glamour and this is by far my favourite orange. It's not a really light or bright orange, it's just a lovely corally or lovely ready orange and you can get away with this in the morning or night time depending what kind of look you want to go for. And the next one is this one that I'm wearing at the moment. This one is called Juju and it's just a perfect red. Now I would say it has more of a pinky tone than a more of an orangey tone. If you guys like um, the more pinky reds than the orangey reds, you should get, grab a hold of Juju because it's just a lovely colour and it's a colour if you want to go for bold red lips, if you want the pink tones or if you prefer the orangey tones and maybe pick up the hot smell instead. So yeah. Next are the circle lipsticks. Now I got, I actually purchased six of these. So I'm going to start off with the first one and it is Pink Lyric. Now you won't have seen this one in some Instagram photos because it's been one of my favourites at the moment. I've been wearing it constantly and it's just this gorgeous pink, Barbie pink, fuchsia pink kind of colour. So it's this ba basically this very gorgeous colour. It's very vibrant. It's lovely, you can get away with it in the morning or night if you want that kind of bold look or if you just prefer a bold lip. This is perfect, one of my favourite colours at the moment. Next one is Fig and this one is more of a neutral pink. It's got more of like a corally pink shade to it but it's very wearable like a morning or if you want to go for more of a nudie pink look or a nudie pink lip. So that's a really lovely one at the moment. As you know, I've been obsessed with purple lipsticks recently and I wanted to try this Chloe lipstick. And um, I've been obsessed with purple lipsticks and I wanted to try a purple lipstick from NYX. And I heard about Chloe, which is the next one here, and it's kind of like an iridescent purpley pink. And what I like about it is you can actually pair this up or down, just up or down, if you want to go for just a bold lip or if you want to just go all bold and all bright you can actually add this to it and what I like about it is it's got those kind of purpley pink iridescent flecks to it so it's a really lovely colour and I'm excited to actually wear it out as well. The next one is called, next one is Stella, now I've seen this in um, some Instagram photos on the NYX website and like when they tag people and stuff and I thought it was just a lovely colour, it's more of a peachy pink rather than um, a Becca vibrant fuchsia or anything and it's a colour that I haven't worn in a while so I'm not sure I was kind of hesitant if I'm going to like it or not but figuring out and I'm trying to get into changing to like the bold lip and everything especially going to spring and stuff I thought this would be a really lovely milky pink for spring summer and even if you want to go for a very bronzed look and just have a little bit of colour on the lips I think this colour would be amazing. The next one is Tea Rose and now this one's more of a brownie pink rather than a pink. Pairing this one next to the fig, this one does have more brown tones to it so it's a more neutral um, pinky tone if you want to go for a very nude lip. In my opinion if you don't like browns but you do like a bit of pink it's the best. I would think this one would be a very good shade if you want to go for a very smoky eye but a nude lip without it being too beige. It would be the better pink kind of shade without it being too bright or anything. Last but never least is the last one and this is Louisiana. Now this one isn't as bobby pink as, as Pink Lyric but what it does have, I think it has more like purpley kind of tones to it but it's really lovely and very pink and vibrant and I think this would go great if you want to go for a really poppy lip, very fuchsia, very hot pink and it's a lovely colour. I can't wait to wear this again. As, as you can tell I love all lipsticks so I'm kind of just happy with all the lipstick choices now from what I kind of saw uh, I've got a lot of pinks but all different kind of shades so I've just got a couple of vibrant colours I've got orange and red as well in there and a purple so you can't go wrong with that so moving on as well I have some products that you've probably seen or will be seeing in some future videos you probably have seen this lovely baby here which is the NYX colour lip balm and this is in Mercy. Now this is a lovely lip balm. You guys have seen this in my previous tutorial with NYX and it's just a very lovely baby 
pink balm that you can put over your lips if you want to go for a very neutral lip but with a bit of colour. So I definitely recommend that if you want a couple of a little bit of colour but not too much. Another product that you would have seen in my previous tutorial is this lovely palette here and this is the Carib from the Caribbean collection and this is in I Dream of St. Thomas and it's just a lovely um, palette here with lots of different colours. Um, you've got a range of colours, you've seen me with the tutorials, if you want to see that tutorial on this palette just I'll leave a link down below for you guys to see it. It's got a lovely range of colours, very pigmented, just the same the exact same as obviously all the single eyeshadows again. They're so pigmented, so soft, um, totally worth I'm just going to show you like a couple of swatches here. You can see that's just one swipe and the, all the lipsticks there as well. They're so pigmented. Um, definitely recommend NYX all the way. They've got so many lovely products there as well and I've been just blown away with the pigmentation, the quality and the price. So you can't go wrong with that. Next up is a bronzer. This is actually what I'm wearing at the moment. It's called Tango with Bronzing Powder. And this is a number two bronzer, bronzer symbol. And you've got two shades there. You've got a darker one and a lighter one. And you even get um, a little brush there if you want to use it as well. So it's good for on the go. You've got a mirror there as well if you need a mirror. And they've got two different shades. You probably can use maybe the dark one for like maybe the bronzing powder, maybe the light one go more intense and just enhance it a bit more or you can even use it as a highlighter if you are more of skin of colour or anything like that. This big haul is the NYX NYX Cream Eyeshadow. This is water resistant and this is in the colour Musk. Now this is what I've got on my eyelids at the moment and it's amazing. Um, it actually dries. Now this does not budge. I remember swatching it on my hand and trying to rub it off and it just didn't budge. And this is a lovely kind of rose goldy um, shade that is really good if you want to go for an everyday look or if you like me, if you like to have a little bit of sparkle on your eyes and just have a line line and stuff, I would definitely recommend trying these cream shadows, they're amazing. So that's the end of my big enormous NYX haul. I kind of went crazy with NYX. I've been dying to try out this stuff for so long. I'm really happy that I kind of took advantage of the 40% off of Cherry Culture. Definitely recommend Cherry Culture and make sure you wait for the sales and offers because it was amazing. I'm having trouble with shipping or anything like that. You do might have to wait a bit longer than normal. I remember waiting about three weeks to get my order and to get it shipped. But other than that, it was perfect service. I totally loved them. And I think my next um, drawer will actually be growing very shortly. I do have a long list of things I still want to get, so so you never know. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like these big holes and subscribe to my channel down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!